So City Skylines 2 just received a new update, and it's been a while since the last one. They claim they've made some performance optimizations. So let's check if performance has improved or not. In a city with 100,000 population, we can see that the frame rate with the new patch doesn't drop as low as before, which can be seen across the whole test run. In this spot, which is the worst case scenario, the last patch dropped to 2 FPS, while the new patch dropped to only 15 FPS. This is a major improvement, but it's not the only issue with performance. The average FPS is horrendously low, no matter what settings you choose. With the new patch, the average FPS increased from 21 FPS to around 23 to 24 FPS. This is about a 14% increase. While performance has certainly improved, it's still in the unplayable territory in my opinion. And keep in mind that this is with the low settings. This update generally stabilizes performance and marginally increases frame rates. But from what the updates have showed us until now, it's that performance is being improved at such a slow pace that if they continue at this rate, we would finally get to playable frame rates in early 2025, at the best case. This is not acceptable. People have paid their hard-earned money for this product, and to have to wait years to actually be able to play this game in its basic form is outrageous. That's if it's ever going to get fixed. What do you think?